Hello folks, James T. Canner here, chef of Gorilla Gourmet out of San Antonio, Texas, Military uh, City, USA. Woo. Um, welcome to another installment of Gorilla Cooking uh, with Gorilla Gourmet. Um, I'm going to show you a quick and easy dish today. This is really, truly Gorilla Cooking. You can cook this dish in a number of ways. It's going to make it super easy or super refined, however you want to do it. I know like me and my family, uh, I have to have food on the table with a quickness uh, most of the time. Every now and then, you know, when it's date night, I can come up with something a little bit more fancier and uh, more refined. But for the most part, I'm going to show you how to make my mama's chicken and dumpling recipe the way she did it. And uh, she was a single mother of three. Um, she had two jobs. So if you can imagine, she was pretty busy all the time. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with... Um, we're going to start with all of our mise en place, and that's all of the stuff that uh, you know, gets us prepared and ready to uh, develop the dish. Um, by the way, I also want to uh, send a shout out to uh, Navy Exchange, NWR, Navy Entertainment, and of course my brothers and sisters uh, in, in the kitchen with Mess Lords. Um, we're, uh, we're hoping to bring some um, relief to you guys and a little bit of ease of mind with uh, some of our cooking techniques and tips and some of our delicious recipes from our family or our restaurants. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Chicken and dumplings, Mama Betty style. Now what I took, today I took the liberty and what I did uh, was I went ahead and I got uh, a, a, a pot of chicken stock going and I added a little cream to it and some seasonings. Now I boiled a whole chicken in there prior to this. Uh, you know, just because I, I wanted to start from a, a fresh from scratch uh, position on the uh, the whole dish. Now, if you don't have the time, go get yourself some, you know, some great um, some great chicken stock from the from the um, grocery stores. They make amazing chicken stock these days with some bouillon cube. Get you one of those rotisserie chickens, pull all the meat off the bone. Bam, done. Real quick. This is kind of a, all, this is also a quick method. So what I did is I, I went ahead and I. Pre-cooked the whole chicken in the stock, and in the stock I added some dried herbs, thyme and and, um, and uh, oregano, and some celery, onions, garlic, and carrots. Uh, and then I strained everything out, pulled the chicken out, let it cool, and then pulled all the meat off the chicken, off the bones, and put it all back in the bowl. So what we got here is we got our strained stock. It's got a little bit of cream in there. I like to get some creaminess to it. Still has some of the herbs in it and some of the chunky, um, chunky uh, aromatics from the cooking process. Got some celery in there, big old chunks. Some bay leaf. Um, really flavorful stock. Really excited about it. So what we're first going to do is in a nice simmer, I'm going to take my hard, um, my harder vegetables uh, and give them some time to cook. I'm going to go ahead and here. There's about. I'd say for a pot this big, you have about 10 carrots in there. Just diced. I leave the skin on. I believe that's where all the nutrients are. That's where all the flavor's at. So we just go with it. Uh, next, I have um, stalks of celery that have been diced. And there's about, I'd say about 12 in here. We're going to go ahead and add those right to the, right to the pool. Just like that. I have some garlic here. That's uh, one head of garlic. Chopped, just rough chopped and smashed. I can keep it kind of whole. I add that in there. Um, and next I got the, uh, the, the whites and the harder barrel kind of parts of the green onion or the scallion. I put that in there. You can chop some sweet onion in there, whatever you want. Uh, whatever works for you. Um, so right now I got all the hard items in there, the hard vegetables, and I'm going to go ahead and cook those down until they get tender um, and just let those go. Um, we'll check the flavor every now and then. should take about, oh, I'd say about 20 minutes to 30 minutes at a medium high, a simmer to cook them to the desired uh, tenderness. Uh, once you get to that point, we're gonna wanna check the seasoning again, like I said. 
and then we are going to add our chicken in and then that's when we'll add our our uh, dumplings in too and then we'll just let that simmer for another 20 30 minutes and uh and we'll baste our dumplings as we go along um and we'll go we'll have a bowl of a nice uh mama betty's chicken and dumplings that when it's all done said and done now what i did i took the liberty uh with movie magic i went ahead and made some ahead of time uh we will go through the process the whole process with this in just a second but i'm going to fast forward a little bit and show you um how to finalize this so we're going to imagine it's 20 30 minutes later and our vegetables are nice and tender Delicious. We're gonna taste our taste our stock. Let's give it a little little taste there. Delicious, delicious. Could use a little bit more salt and uh, seasoning. So, um, what we're gonna do now is we are going to add a little bit more of seasoning. What I have here is some garlic powder. I have uh, whatever your favorite Cajun seasoning is, and I have, of course, I'm from Maryland originally, so I put a little bit of Old Bay in there. And uh, that should bring bring up the flavor. In a pot about this big, you're gonna want at least a tablespoon or full or two of, of that seasoning. Uh, I got another tablespoon of uh, dried tr dried thyme and oregano mix. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stir it in for a little bit. Get it nice incorporated in there. You guys follow me so far? This is going to be good, I promise. Real good. It's going to be super easy. So we're going to go back in for the kill here. Test it again. No, oh, it's getting there, man. It's getting there. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of rock salt to it or sea salt. It's about a good tablespoon and a half. Um, and then you're gonna wanna get a couple good twists of the black pepper. You gotta have black pepper and chicken nubbles. I don't care who you are or what you're doing. Get some uh, good crushed black pepper in there. Um, so we're at this point. Uh, we have our vegetables in there. We have our seasonings in there. I'm gonna taste it again. Tasting is key. Always keep tasting your food as you cook it. You're gonna build layers of flavor in there. That's it. That's where we want it to be. Um, so um, next we will throw our chicken in there. And this is our chicken. It's been pulled off the bone. That's a whole chicken. Makes makes quite a, quite a bit. Um, yeah, makes quite a bit of um, of soup. So we got that in there now. And remember, these vegetables are nice and tender. And toothsome and delicious. Uh, the stock is flavored exactly how we want it. Um, we got our beautiful shredded chicken uh, that has been pulled out of that stock and shredded and then put back in. So we looks like we have the beginnings of a little uh, chicken and dumplings here. So if you like it thicker, you can add a little cornstarch slurry to it. Um, what I do is I usually just put my dumplings in, and that usually, uh, through the cooking process, the flour will kind of seep into the uh, liquid and kind of act as a uh, natural uh, thickener with the uh, chicken fats that are already in there. Um, yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Get that rolling real good. And here's my my mother Betty, my mama Betty, her famous dumpling recipe. Now you gotta watch real close because you might miss some things. Uh, now remember, she's a, a mother of three, had two jobs, very busy woman. Um, so she used whatever trick she could to save her time after she got off work or, or even beforehand in a crock pot to um, to get food on the table for us throughout the day. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take what she did, Bisquick. Now Bisquick, she used it for everything. You know, our waffles, our pancakes, our chicken and dumplings, 
um, our biscuits, you name it. Uh, and it saved her a ton of time. Now she did in her earlier years used to cook everything from scratch, but you know as we got older and more more demand was on her for uh, us growing boys, she uh, she threw the convention out the door and uh, went with practicality and uh, got some convenience products to help her out. So and these are you know things you can pick up in any uh, you know Navy Exchange store or military exchange store or commissary. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about, for this size, it's about, what, was it about a gallon and a half of, of chicken soup? I'm going to take about uh, two full, or four, four cups of, um, of uh, Bisquick mix. And I'm going to take about two cups of milk. And I'm going to add that to the Bisquick mix. And then I'm going to... Go ahead and start stirring it up a little bit. Bring it into like a, a sticky dough. Get it going here. This is, looks a little looser than I like. So, you know, I, I don't really use a lot of measurements. I'm just kind of a freestyle kind of guy. Cool, you know, add it in or subtract it as much as I, as I need to. So, I'm going to add an additional... Uh, let's go with an additional cup of Bisquick. The good thing about the Bisquick is we it has its own leavening agents in here, um, so it makes helps make those um, those dumplings nice and light when they cook up. Uh, if you like them a little bit lighter, you can add a little egg to it, um, some more baking soda, baking powder. Um, if you see now, we're getting like a nice dough. This is where I have to start getting my hands dirty a little bit. And, uh, get in here. And you'll see like that doughy, it's nice and sticky. So, we got that going. I'm going to go ahead over here and wash my hands. But first, I want you to come over here and see the simmering because that's important. So we got that nice and simmering. That's what we want. We want that to simmer on a nice low frequency here. And that's really going to help to keep those dumplings formed. Now I'm going to take these dumplings. Now that we got uh, everything's, everything's ready to go in our chicken, uh, chicken soup. Um, veggies are tender. tender. Uh, we have all of our seasoning in there. All of our chickens in there. Uh, we're ready to go with our dumplings. So I'm going to take about yay big and um, you know you can use your hands if you like. I'm going to take a spoon like this and I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. These are, drop, these are called drop dumplings. I'm put another one over here. Try not to Put them on top of each other. You can make these, you know, about the size of a um, tangerine. I like them that big. Almost like a matzo ball kind of. Um, you don't want to go too big because it'll take longer for them to cook. And you want to make sure you put plenty of dumplings in here. You can put some small ones in here too if you want. I'll put plenty of dumplings in here because that's going to be the... People are going to fight over the dumplings. Now, what's really cool about using something like Bisquick to make your dumplings um, and doing things from scratch with some convenience products like a rotisserie chicken or, you know, like a stock or, you know, Bisquick as your dumplings, you can uh, spend more time on kind of fancifying your um, chicken and dumpling stew. You can turn this into, you know, you can give it a bit of a... a Asian flair, like a Southeast Asian flair with some ginger and lemongrass and uh, fish sauce. Or you can give it a little bit of a Mexican flair and add some chipotle in there. Um, you know, some masa 
add some like corn flour to this dumpling mix um, and some avocado um, you, know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it uh, that's that's the fun part uh, kind of exploring those options and kind of breaking the boundaries a little bit you know, thinking think a little bit outside of the box now if you did want to um, if you did want to make your own dumplings, it's fairly easy. It really, truly is. It's flour, flour, flour milk, water, and, um, and eggs. And that's it. And seasoning. Whatever seasoning you want to put in your salt, pepper, thyme, whatever. Uh, but, you know, this, this works too. And i got to get dinner on the table for the family. Uh, <laughs> it's getting late and they're hungry. So uh, we're going to use that. So if you see this now, I want to show you this. They're starting to boil pretty good. So, I'm going to pull it over here, and I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's about medium. You don't want it to boil too hard because they will dissipate the, the, the um, dumplings here. So, we're just going to let those rock out right there. Turn it down a little bit more. Got that on like a four, a medium, medium low. And that's it. That is... Um, that's basically it. You just let it simmer until the dumplings are tender through and they're floating and you've basted them and turned them a couple of times. Um, if you look right here, I did one ahead of time. This is a mini, ver a mini version of the big pot here. But this is the chicken and dumplings that I made ahead of time. And what I did was, you know, made sure those dumplings were turned. You turn them like this. Just make sure they're getting cooked through. You can cut them in the half if you want. Uh, so they're smaller. See how they're smaller now? And uh, that's it. And we'll plate one of these guys up and uh, show you what it looks like. I'm going to get a bowl out of here. So let's get the fancy bowl. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a couple of these beautiful dumplings and get it in the bottom of the bowl. And then Take this over here, and I like to finish mine with little, little green onion ends here. I like a lot of fresh scallion in there. And when uh, when we go to eat this, we'll add a little jalapeno in there too. I like a little spice, a little green onion, and I love a little spice in there. So I'm going to add a little. Texana brand um, spicy sriracha oil. It's a locally uh, pressed, harvested, pressed, and and produced oil here in South Texas. Uh, great product. You can buy it online at Amazon. Good stuff. Um, I put it in everything. But there's uh, Mama Betty's uh, chicken and dumpling soup uh, with a quickness. We uh, used a couple of convenience products to help us out. Um, you can get as fancy or as plain as you like it, and uh, you can make it as easy or as complicated as you like it. Um, this is this is ours. This is this is what we're feeding the, the our uh, our troops here at Gorilla Gourmet tonight, and that's uh, my wife and three boys. <laughs> thank you guys so much. It's been a pleasure, and thank you on behalf of uh, on behalf of the mess lords. Navy Exchange, Navy Entertainment, uh, and really thank you, um, all you troops out there that are doing all the hard work, so that we can, um, you know, so that we can enjoy the freedoms that you're working hard for. We appreciate your service. Thank you guys, and stay safe out there. It's getting kind of funky. Get yourself a bowl of nice and chunky Mama Betty's dumpling soup. <laughs>